Greetings, greetings, greetings. Welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa. Hello, everyone. It's so good to be here with you, isn't it? Well, we're back on Heal Talk Tuesdays. It's not that we are back, that I have been gone, but it's so wonderful to be back over here. Uh, another week, another time. It's uh, like September is ending, and here we are, first week in autumn. You know what I love about autumn? Autumn is about the leaves, the colors change, leaves that fall. And I like to call it, it's, it's time to harvest, it's time to just start hibernating. It's when we go into this hibernation and want to cozy up. Actually, here in California, the weather is sunny and bright, but the weather is a bit, um, what we call it, it's, uh, I want to call it nifty, but it's snappy, it's crisp. In, in the morning, it was cool enough for me to put my jacket on, but <laughs> as one of my friends would say, I will, I will walk into our room and automatically need my scarf or shawl but it it's good it's telling us autumn is here the trees the change of color and everything showing that it's beginning to go into the winter season that means uh as the leaves fall i like to call it we are getting ready to make changes make changes in our life and uh, it's changing colors, changing who we are, changing habits, changing behavior. School has changed. Work changes. And yes, there are many changes that are happening um, within our surroundings. Uh, what is the change that you want to make? What's the change that you want to make in your life that perhaps you've been hesitating? You've been contemplating? It's a change that you've thought about, but perhaps you've thought, I can't do it. Uh, it has not worked for me. So I am here. I want this session, this next half an hour or however long we are here together to talk about those changes. And maybe if you ask me some of the questions, either here live. Hello, Lisa. Hi, Sadha. Thank you for joining live. And for those of you who are going to be watching this on replay, please show me, uh, say yes. Um, Number one, as I am live right here, or two, for those of you who come in as a replay. So just let me know, just share. And that's, that's what I like. I, I like this communication, which brings me to this point. I've had a few people who have PM'd me, messaged me in private, and said, is there a possibility you can, uh, change the Heal Talk Tuesdays to another time. Uh, so here's my question to you. I would like to bring this to all of you who watch me, who make comments, who call me or email me, and let me know, does this time work for you? Would you like me to come live at another time? And if if so, what is the best date and time for you? And I will compile all that information, sit with it, and come back. Next Tuesday, October, it's, oh, my God, this weekend was wonderful. Uh, it's like I'm in a new phase, and I am ready to bring more, to do more, which... 
I'm going at the end of this session, I want you to know I'm going to be sharing something else. So many people have asked for it. So I'm also going to bring something new for you. And uh, a year ago, I did this 33 day challenge. But now I have something else that is going to happen and I'm bringing to you. Uh, I was reading a book and there was this quote. It says, we should all do something to right the wrongs that we see and not just complain about them. And that's one of the things that I wanted to share and talk about because what I wrote just two days ago is that just because we are helping someone does not mean, uh, no, just because we are serving someone does not mean uh, that we are helping them. Just because I'm doing this Heal Talk Tuesdays does not necessarily mean that it's beneficial to you. So I want to make our Heal Talk Tuesdays, the time that we are together, become more uh, valuable and beneficial to you. Um, so let me know what it is that you would like me to talk. I'm opening up to find out when you would like uh, the Hill Talk Tuesdays be so you can go live, that you can have a conversation, that it's best suited for you. Now, what I want to share today is about something that I thought I was quite clear in what I do and how I can help you just visualize being more at peace, more confident, having more self-esteem, and recognizing your true potential. So how do we heal within? How do I help you heal within? Is first and foremost, understand one thing. Just like, you know, when we want to explain most people who want to explain about how our mind works, the conscious part, the subconscious part, the middle point, which is the critical factor, they usually show it like an iceberg. An iceberg that this part, like about 30% is on top, that uh, as you are watching the ocean, you can see the top of the iceberg. And then there is this 60% or 65% that is underneath the ocean, the deeper part of the ocean. And that part, both parts are ice. But if we want to make a change, either in habit or in behavior, or no matter what it is, we don't start chipping away or bring a ship chipping away and hitting the iceberg from the top. Change happens from the inside out. And I'm sure you've heard this many, many times. So how do we make the change from the inside out is there's got to be a shift in the temperature of the water, in the deepest reservoir of the ocean. And as the change, the climate change happens, that shift moves the iceberg and slowly by slowly, it starts melting or chipping away. So when we want to make a change in our behavior, we don't go and change something by doing it. First is to understand how this incredible iceberg is established, how it can be moved, how it can melt, and then the change happens. So with that, we want to see and visualize what is it that we first want in life and by knowing what it is that we want in life then we go and say which is the evoking part and then we say where am i right now what do i want 
to change? What is the aspect that needs to change? What do I want to make a, a change for the better in my life? And then we go and achieve it. So we, if we think about us, it's like this, this entire experience, our behaviors and everything are, I mean, to nature today, like the wind, like the weather. Who we are is this beautiful global. We are the blue sky. From the time we are born, we don't have those habits and behavior and experiences, right? So we are born innocent. We are born as we are with no expectations, no experiences, except the birthing and the first cry. So all those habits and behaviors and experiences are developed, right? As they are developed, so I want you to visualize being a part of this wind, being the weather. As the weather gets foggy, as the weather, just like September, autumn, the leaves change, uh, the weather gets colder, we might have showers, we might have rain, but the blue sky will always stay there. You may not be able to see the blue sky at all times if it is cloudy, if it is raining, if it is foggy or smog, or even thunder. But we always know we believe the sky to be blue when the weather clears. When our negative habits, negative behavior, or behavior that no longer works and benefits us is moved, is shifted, it's cleared. Or, I like to say, we let it go. Now, hi, Sanazjan. Hello, Helen. Hi, Helen. Oh, my God. This is wonderful. It's so good to have so many new people on, uh, online here joining us. So say hello, please. Just say uh, a wave, an emoji, number one, if you are live with us. And if it's a repeat, for those of you who are going to be watching it as a repeat, just put number two or just say repeat. So again, today we are shifting. I am here to help you move this fog, move this terrain, this thunder, and everything that has been raining upon you and fogging your horizon to who you are and what you want to create. So let's come up with one behavior we are ready to shift right here, right now. Let's start with Hmm. Let me give you an example. For so many of you know that approximately two months ago, I had to put my dog uh, Bodhi down. <clears throat> See, my voice gets, oh, <coughs> sorry about that. Um, yes, I do get emotional. Yes, I do cry. Yes, I do go into a funk. And that's what I wanted to talk to you about. For the last two months, I was in a funk. I was in a, I like to call it a um, cognitive, conscious depression. Why? Because depression has many formats. What we call is people who, there's, um, people who are introverts and when they get depressed they like to go into that seclusion to be quiet they don't want to speak with someone they don't want to do anything and then there's people who are more social or I like to call it extroverts more dominant as an extrovert because an introvert can have extrovert social tendencies and an extrovert can have um, introvert and quiet moments that they like to go into their seclusion. But mine was, I've been so busy with so many 
things I did not give myself time to truly heal, right? Heal and mourn, some people call it mourning, because I was so busy with my nonprofit, I was so busy, I had a guest in the house for two months. So my guest left a week ago, not even a week ago, four days ago. And all these things that were happening quieted down, the event was over, and then suddenly I walk into my house. As, as I walk in, Bodhi was not there to greet me. And it just struck me, truly it struck me. It just hit this very moment. And right there in the hallway, I sat down and I bawled and I missed him. But at that same very moment, I smiled. I smiled because I was validating, validating my feelings. I was validating my dog I was validating my experiences and then at that very moment I realized hmm it's so good to validate every aspect the hurt the pain the depression not dealing with it and then now being uh, so aware of it and at that very mean immediately going into my own therapy mode and saying that's called heal within healing healing from the inside it's giving yourself permission to feel giving yourself permission to yes if you want to cry cry giving yourself permission to say i am human and giving yourself permission to experience all that you were experiencing and then say the sky is blue this too shall pass and I am so grateful for the years or the times that if you had a relationship with someone and instead of feeling all that anger and resentment and guilt and shame or whatever it is that you're holding on to or blaming validated by speaking it honoring yourself and then you know what cut cut the cord let it go and i like to call it send it up send it up to that beautiful we're going back to nature the white fluffy clouds and let the clouds those beautiful white fluffy clouds take all that away right and that's where we come to that oneness some call it depleted, empty, drained, cleared. And saying yes to yourself. Saying yes to you. For being alive, being in that very moment. Because every aspect by doing so from the conscious i tap into the subconscious and bring in all those emotions that i had bundled up held on to even though i had been talking about it and now i come to this beautiful fruition and completion and saying Next time I walk into the door, I walk in with a smile. Because that room is filled with good memories and I am glad I, I experienced them. And today, I am here to help. This is how I can help someone else who goes through 
certain emotions, certain blocks, certain um, blockages and hurts and pains that perhaps they have not been able to tap into. And I help them recognize it by evoking it, help them embracing it by standing right there or holding space for them, for you, so that we can evolve to what it is that we want to be. So what did I do afterwards? I opened the glass door to my balcony. I went and sat outside. And it was a time for reflection. It was a great, cool evening. And sitting at my balcony, overlooking the street, the neighbors, the light was on across the street street in their room. I could hear a child in the background and a dog barking from far away, another neighbor. And as the wind was ever so beautifully with the breeze moving the leaves on the tree, this beautiful ficus tree that is right there in front of my balcony. It was beautiful. It was like the sound of the dog barking from far away and yet not too far that I couldn't hear it sent a message of validation. And I like to make the best out of everything and I said, thank you. It's as if the wind was blowing all the rest away and bringing this freshness as we call it, the change of leaves, the change in mood, the change in life. So today, if there is something that you believe you want to make the change, a change starting today, go find a place that you can sit and reflect that place that is your own place of safety, comfort, your cocoon, and just delve deeper within yourself and listen. Listen to your body talk. Listen to your subconscious mind, your unconscious mind, the little girl, the little boy, the adult within you or the parent within you. Speak, voice something. And whatever it is, just let it come and go. Just recognize it, validate it. And you don't need to hold on to it. And just like the breeze and the wind or the leaf on a tree that is at the tip of a branch, and we know branches can break, let it drop and let it fall onto the ground. And know that you are just like the bark of a palm tree solid, strong, rooted into Mother Earth, or as huge and vast as that beautiful blue sky. And if you find that you need more assistance, by all means, contact me. You know where you can find me. You can always find me at www.healwithin.com. You can email me at info at healwithin.com. You can message me here and I will always respond to you. And before we go, before the close of this session, I want to segue into this beautiful place that starting October 1, starting this coming Monday, I have made a decision due to some 
suggestions and messages that has come, I'm going to bring more value and offer my services in starting a daily gratitude. Every single morning, I will come on for just a few moments, start the day with a daily gratitude. And this is going to happen in a private Facebook page. So it's not live here where everyone can see. It's going to be private in a Facebook page, in a group. But if you want to be a part of that and receive daily affirmations, and it can be just about anything, I don't know. I have not thought that far except that I will be with you for the season of autumn so we can let seasons change behaviors change we change and we make the best out of everything you want it well, let me know say yes send me an emoji send me a message a private message me and say yes lisa please include me in there and to close today's session, I want to read something. It's the greatest quotes from the great women in our life. And this will be from Harriet Truman. And she said, when I found I had crossed that line, I looked at my hands to see if I was the same person. There was such a glory over everything. The sun came like gold through the trees and over the fields, and I felt like I was in heaven. Wow, I just did a random open the page, and this was by Harriet Truman. How interesting that even this quote that I opened was about change of seasons, heaven, sun, and making a change. So, hi, Vaheja. Thank you for being with me on this Heal Talk Tuesday, end of September. So let us go, take strides, walk the path that you want to, not they said. That's how we make the change, by empowering and standing up for ourselves. And always remember, you do matter. Let us evoke what was, embrace what is, and evolve to our heart's desire. God bless you, and may the universal light always protect you. This is Lisa Bubari. I look forward to being here with you next week.